Okay, Kill the Scream Queens by Brain Damaged Films. I I have a hard time almost calling this a movie or even a film. Essentially, what it is is you have a guy who finds women who want to become actresses. He then essentially invites them over for a screen test. In some cases, either he drugs them and then does and then performs BTK. Now, hit to the lingo, that's bound, torture, kill. Now, he and he might rape, he might not. And essentially, for like the hour and ten minutes, every fifteen minutes, it's almost an exact repeat. It's him finding a new person, getting that person to come over, very light amount of dialogue, and then having that person essentially get naked, find them, torture them, and then kill them. Not until the very end you find out he's doing this because he used to break into homes and then he became a rapist and now he's a murderer and to make himself seem more interesting as a murderer he's filming everything and then sending off his films in the idea that it look really cheesy and cheap because they're legitimate kills and that way he'll become this sort of like underground cult horror icon for producing actual legitimate like snuff films, but doing it in a way that makes it seem really offbeat and cheesy. So some definitely has a really unique like voyeur aspect to it, because it does feel like you are actually watching somebody who's just essentially killing somebody. You know, there's there really is no fluff. They say right off in the movie towards the end, he's like, there's no fluff, this is just action. You know, there's almost nothing in between the time of him killing somebody and then going on to the next person. And that way it is so ridiculously dull and repetitive. After you watch the first one you're like, okay. And the context for that is there isn't any, okay, this is just torturing and killing for the sake of torturing and killing. To make yourself seem really important and seem really unique as a serial killer. I found to be undeniably dull and repetitive. For some people, this might actually be the other thing. They might actually want to see a a regular looking person getting bound, tortured, and killed. And then right as soon as that's done, another regular person being bound, tortured, and killed by a guy who wears dark shirts with like either Edgar Allan Poe or Evolution or, you know, bands on it with long hair. That that is kill the Scream Queens. I'm I'm really kind of depressed that I A wasted my time with this movie and B wasted a, a Netflix cue on it.